The speech by a controversial right-wing journalist at a university in the United States have turned violent. Smoke bombs and flares have been thrown at the University of California, Berkeley. Uh, our Los Angeles correspondent James Cook has this report. Whenever Milo Yiannopoulos goes, protests seem to follow. The controversial journalist has been touring American college campuses with a polarizing message. He preaches free speech, praises Donald Trump, and attacks Islam and feminism. Here at the University of California, Berkeley, demonstrators were divided about whether such views justified this response. Well, I definitely think that the students went way too far. They crossed the line by like vandalizing property and like putting things on fire and stuff. This is really appropriate for what's going on right now. Um, the speaker, Milo Yiannopoulos, he's a known racist and a neo-Nazi, and I feel like he shouldn't be allowed to speak. <laughs> Rioting protesters threw smoke bombs and flares at the building. Police ordered them to leave the area, but many refused, and the campus was placed on lockdown. College Republicans say they invited Mr. Yiannopoulos to give voice to repressed conservative thought. But as the violence worsened, the talk was cancelled amid concerns for the speaker's safety. And he made his feelings clear on Facebook. I am, of course, not the racist or the sexist or anything else that the posters that they put up uh, claim that I am. They do that um, in order to legitimise their own violence against you. Um, but even if I were, even if the things that they said about me were true, this still wouldn't be an appropriate response to ideas. Berkeley was the cradle of the free speech movement in the 1960s. Not tonight. James Cook, BBC News, Los Angeles. Let's go live to Los Angeles. Another of our correspondents, Peter Bowes, you can see him there ready to talk to us. What's the latest, Peter? Well, uh, as we've just heard, this uh, speech was cancelled about an hour before it was due to take place and the crowd was asked to disperse and some people have done that. There are still some people hanging around outside the building, but the debate is turning to this issue of free speech and this is uh, an issue that's arisen before with this particular gentleman just a month ago at another University of California campus, a very similar situation, a speech had to be cancelled and we've just him, heard him saying there that uh, a lot of the comments attributed to him he, he believes are, are simply not true. He, he denies some of the uh, more extreme claims that uh, are said to have been made about him. So things are dying down a, a little bit outside the university but clearly this debate will continue. Uh, on Associated Press uh, US Domestic it says uh, there are no reports of injuries, the crowd was about 1500 um, so the fact that there are no injuries is certainly encouraging. Is there something about the University of California, Berkeley, that lends itself to this kind of, well, demonstration against uh, a known right winger? Well, in a sense, uh, this is a, a pivotal university because, as we've just heard in, in James's report, uh, in the early 1960s, this was uh, seen as the cradle of the free speech movement. Essentially, the, the beginning of a free speech movement uh, came out of a, an, an angry student demonstration against university authorities, and, and the issue then was uh, the, the right to have political activities on campus. So it is certainly a focal point in that respect. But he has uh, given speeches at other universities around the country. Some ha have gone off w without as much trouble. Uh, others have gathered a huge amount of, of protest and, and angry demonstration like this one. Appreciate it, Peter. Thank you very much indeed. Peter Bowes in LA. Let's stay in the United States. Donald Trump's choice for Secretary of State. He has been sworn.